Welcome back, uh, Flight Simmers. Um, I have a uh, suggestion. And this suggestion comes to reading um, from people that uh, they wanted to change that, the text size in Microsoft Flight Simulator or FSX. Well, under Windows 10, it gives you the opportunity to do so. And uh, it may work with some systems and it may not. Uh, I just tested it out on my computers and it worked just fine. But if you have Windows 10 uh, and, the, and your web browser, I'm using uh, Bing for right now. If you type in uh, the word uh, change text size Windows 10, or you can go to your search window in your Windows 10 uh, taskbar and type in uh, change text size. And you should be able to come to this page here. I'll try to leave a link in the pay in the uh, description below. Uh, so you want to get to this page here. Change the text size of Windows 10, and it gives you an instructions right on there. You know, you press the Start menu, you go to Settings, and then on the Display, and you're going to come to this uh, portion on your display right here. Uh, make text size bigger. So when I did so, let's see here. There we go, and. Uh, this slider here, I have mine on 147%, so I'm just going to bump it up to maybe 150. And you can use your arrows on your keyboard to be precise. So I'm going to just go to 150 and use the arrows on my keyboard here. And this is under display. Um, you know, follow the instructions on that website. And uh, when you get to display, you want to make sure you uh, get to the area, make text bigger. All right, so once you have that in there, you can uh, minimize the window or close it out. But I would keep it up until your text size. You want uh, whatever your desire your text size you want your screen to have or in your Microsoft Flight Simulator fonts, whatever size that's comfortable for you. Now, remember, when you adjust this, make everything bigger, uh, even your icon text is going to increase in size also. So let me see if I can give a, an example of that. So you notice uh, on my icons here, uh, I'm not able to change it right now, but um, your text in your under, under your icons on Windows 10, that will also increase in size. So remember that. If that's annoying to you, then you just fill around again with the, uh, with the text size uh, settings and then uh, Something that's, uh, you know, comfortable for you uh, on this slider here. So play around with it, get comfortable. Now to test it out in Flight Simulator, I'm going to minimize this screen right here. Now I'm inside a Flight Simulator, uh, FSX. And you'll notice um, the font has changed up here in the top menu bar. And this has increased the, uh, when you do the Shift Z, minus set for sip, Shift Z as in Zulu uh, to see your um, information on on uh, regarding the the winds, the coordinates, and your frame rates. How many frame rates you're getting uh, per second? And if you cycle through there on the Shift Z, and uh, there's a way you can change that also in the in the uh, CFG file FSX CFG F FSX uh, dot CFG text file you can go in there and just uh, what you want display or how many lines you want display uh, and that's it so that's how you can increase the text size so that when you go to the different menus let's say for the uh, flight planner uh, even the text size in this also has changed to a larger uh, size on the font and that's how you change the text out text uh, size in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I uh, hope this has been very useful. Now to give you some other little tidbits and what you can do uh, with your icons, uh, check this out. So if you go back to your web browser and you type in enlarge Windows 10 start menu uh, there and click on open settings, but here's the instructions on how to do so that it will increase the uh, uh, your start menu button or and it gives a little bit more larger size but you can adjust and play around in there also and then uh, if you want to change your colors personalize your windows colors now mine is as you can see around the edges here this isn't is in blue but if I was to open this up 
and once again if you type type your web browser um, change color start menu windows 10 or personal or go in your your uh, search menu on your taskbar and type in personalized windows colors and when you get there just open up the settings and it's going to ask you if you sure you want to open it and yes there we go okay so under here you can also adjust your your back your windows background colors and do something you you uh, feel comfortable with and also if you want to change your mouse size just type in this box here my mouse size and do a search for that and you can adjust the size of your mouse and uh, for that to be a good appearance when you're flying if you don't have knob, uh, Knobster uh, you know you use your cursor as your mouse um, that's pretty good I leave mine on a big size there so I can get a good coverage on the uh, the flying instrument knob so if you don't have Knobster uh, let's see what else I can show you here um, and the last recommendation before I sign off for this uh, particular segment is uh, go back to uh, I'm going to go back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. And what I have noticed is uh, when you uh, look outside the, the, the window here, you'll notice on the uh, upper right-hand side of my screen, you see what it says, Zoom? Uh, it, it has the word Zoom. Let me see if I can get a good coverage of that. But it's located right here. And so when I was sitting on an aircraft uh, on a flight once, and I was looking out the window, and, and I, I was noticing well in Microsoft Flight Simulator the zoom seems to be very close or very uh, uh, very close up view so to make things a little bit more risk realistically or realistic I keep mine around uh, 40 between 40 and 50 on the zoom and that makes things a little bit more realistic looking out of the uh, cockpit window and so when I get down to uh, 40 I usually keep it around 40 to um, 50 on the zoom. Now this is the outside view and I got it at uh, 30. You notice the zoom is there as now at uh, 30. Now here I'm on the runway and if your panel is above the runway, now on my uh, keyboard, if I press, hold down the shift key and press enter, uh, let's see if it works here. Okay oh there we go okay so if you press shift G Z and enter you notice my keyboard is going down and if I press hold down the shift shift key and press backspace I can uh, have a better view in the, of the uh, runway especially if you come in and landing if you can uh, tie this in with your uh, key on your uh, joystick it's very helpful because that way it gives you a better view of the runway so you can make a better landing well I hope these tips are very helpful appreciate your patience Thank you very much and happy flight simming. Thank you.